So in today class, guys, like we will see the some show important command for spanning tree, and we will also see the troubleshooting. The first command, guys, like, let's say in case in your layer two network, okay. So maybe let's say you are tr troubleshooting the historical issue. So you want to see like let's say if there any change happen in layer two network. So this is a command, guys, like we'll we'll run, okay. Show spanning tree detail, okay. So this command guy like show you basically, let's say if you have any issue and the devices are in VLAN one. So you want to see like, let's say your layer two network is how long is stable. So you can see in show spanning tree detail, how long is my STP is stable, okay. So this is equivalent to guys like, like in case of routing, you see show IP OSPF neighbor detail, or in case of VGP, show IP PGP summary, like how long my network is stable. So this is the same way, guy. like let's say if you're doing the troubleshooting in layer two, and you want to see like uh, recently any change happen. So in STP guys, you can check how long your network is stable. You see like in this snapshot, okay, I just like make the diagram and after some time I see, so from last three minute and 18 second, okay, my network is stable. So my next command guy, like you see in spanning tree, which is like we normally configure show, use show spanning tree. So in this snapshot guy, like if we see this command, we normally use, okay to see the show spanning tree status. And these all my port running spanning tree. And this is the information for VLAN one. Okay. So by default, guys, like Cisco switches, they are running PBST plus, okay, which is per VLAN spanning tree. But here, guys, like if you see this port, okay, which is showing peer STP. So it means, guys, like the devices which are connected to these two port, okay, they are running the different STP flavor. So definitely guys, like this will impact in case any failure happen. And maybe let's say for the faster conversion speed, okay, you are, you want to configure the rapid spanning tree, but some of the switches like you miss the configuration. So for those two devices guys, like you need to see they are running which STP flavor. So in this diagram, guy, like if I show you, uh, we have two core and two access switches. So on the core, guys, like if we run command show spanning tree, so this two interface, okay, gigabit two and three, as per this is going to my access switches. And on the core, simply you can see we are running sp rapid spanning tree. But on my access switches, we are running default spanning tree, which is PVSG. Okay. So you can simply check show spanning tree summary. So by default, guys, Cisco switch is running PVST. However, on the core, you are running rapid spanning tree. Okay. So in this case, guys, like there will be no impact. Okay. There will be no impact. Let's say if you're checking the reachability from this host to another host. So even let's say a few of the switches you're running MSTP multiple spanning tree and few of the switches you are running rapid spanning tree there will be no issue for that end-to-end -end connectivity however guys maybe in this in this case you will not get the desired conversion speed so in this case definitely guys I will run the same STP flavor okay and so this change will definitely require the downtime so make sure guys, like, let's say if you find this, this output, output, okay. Like the, the connector neighbor, okay. They are peer STP means they are not running the same STP flavor. So in this case, guys, like you will plan this change during the known production time. Okay. So we'll say span tree mode, rapid PVST on all my switches. Okay. To get the fastest convergence speed. So config T, so spanning tree mode, you can see a guy like mainly. So this is the rapid PBST. This is a default one, MST, which is multiple spanning tree. 
So we use in bigger network, okay, like when we have multiple VLAN. But normally, I like a, in in I have seen like a in enterprise environment, okay, we use this, okay, rapid spanning. So make sure, guy, like your all your switches, okay, they are uh, running the rapid spanning tree if you want like a higher convergence speed, okay. And then next, guys, let's talk about the convergence speed, okay. So let's say from end to end, okay, you want the higher convergence speed for your layer two network perspective. So mainly guys, like you need to care uh, two things, okay. The first thing guys, like make sure all your switch is running rapid spanning tree. The second thing guys, like require, make sure the port, which is going to the end host, they are also running port fast feature. Your, so once you enable the port pass feature on these two port, okay, it will become edge port. So not only guys, these two port, okay, save your timer, listening and learning, but it also stop the STP TCN message. So TCN basically guys, like the topology change notification. So in layer two network guys, if any port goes down or up, it will generate the TCN message, which is STP topology change notification message. And this message is very, like, very dangerous, okay? In your network, if the TCN message generate, normal switch basically uh, flush their MAC address table and then relearn the MAC address, it will definitely generate more broadcast traffic. So definitely, guys, you will stop the TCN message for especially your end, end port devices, okay? Because like see like in the real world, uh, like in the user every day, okay, let's say I'm I'm basically coming to my office and connect my LAN port. Then in the evening time, I'm leaving the office, okay, I'm basically remove my LAN port. So generally, guys, these port, okay, which is going to end machine, they are basically goes up and down and up and down, and it unnecessarily generate the TCN message, okay. So that is why, guys, like you always configure the port fast feature uh, for the port, which is going to work to your end device. So, like if I show you guys, like on switch, and let me show you guys this the TCN. Okay, so let's go to my access switches. Okay, so this port, like Gigabit Zero Y two, I haven't configured any port fast feature. Okay, so Gigabit Zero Y two, this is my port going to the end machine. Okay, so by default, all the switch port they are in VLAN one. So let's say debug spanning tree detail or debug spanning tree all. And let me shut down this port, okay. Oh, so debug spanning tree all, I think this is very messy uh, output, okay. And let me guys like uh, uh, run the specific debug command, okay. So debug spanning tree, let's say event. And let me shut down this port. So interface gigabit 0i2, shut down and then if we see the interface goes shut down however we are not seeing any spanning tree message okay so let me run guys like one, one more command debug spanning tree uh event i think like rstp generate a lot of messages okay let me first run the normal stp spanning tree mod pvst on this switch and now turn gigabit zero y2 shut down no shutdown again and then shut down the port again not only guys listening and learning but once you shut down the port it will also generating the tcn okay so Again, no shutdown. So that is the thing, okay, like not only like once you configure the port fast feature, okay, not only you save your time by discarding the listening and learning stage. So your port immediately, like you see like right now, we are going to listening, learning, then we will forward the traffic, okay. But once you guys enable the, so this is a command like to enable the port fast feature, span tree, port fast, and uh, so normally this is the command on the real network, okay, for the end machine. But on the EVNG, you need to use this keyword, okay, edge. 
don't require guys this keyword on um, real world but on nexus this is a command okay this is a command to configure the port fast feature the port which is going to the end machine okay so show span tree if you enter you see like this port edge means this port uh, having the port fast feature is enabled okay so you can simply also check like show spanning tree interface gigabit zero y2 port fast so this command basically show you so this uh, port by default in vn1 and port fast port fast feature is enabled and now guys if you if you shut down this port so you see like your port immediately goes in forwarding street okay so there is no listening learning and directly you will go to the forwarding from blocking and there is no stp tcn message okay. so you can also enable the port fast feature on the trunk port so normally guys, like we never use the port fast feature between switch to switch but there are there are some cases okay like let's say uh, you have a firewall and this is my switch and i want to pass the multiple vlan traffic so i configure this port as a trunk port however guys like uh, this is my trunk port so you can also configure the command span tree port fast trunk because the firewall they are not running span tree protocol right so in this case guys definitely you can configure the a port fast feature to enable on a trunk port okay similarly let's say if, if my port goes to router so i want to configure the port uh, i want to pass the multiple vlan traffic to this port and this port like switch side we have configured switch port more trunk and uh, under this under this port guys you can also configure the command spanning tree port fast trunk this is a command to enable the port fast feature on the trunk port so I hope guys you like this video and thank you for watching.